Good morning, everybody. It is kind of chilly today, right? But the sun is out. It's a beautiful day to show you some used cars that we just bought at the auction yesterday. That was Friday morning. Stay with us. You ready to see some cool new cars from the auction? I hope you are. Here we go. Alright everybody, so we got a BMW that's number one on today's list. Let me tell you a little bit about it. It is a, well, 2008 BMW 5 Series. It has 170,000 miles, 3.0 liter, and the price is $49.95. Woo, not bad. We'll take an in-depth video of it this coming week. But that one's right there on available. Here we go. All right, everybody, we got a 2007 Ford Explorer Sport Track. 232,000 miles. Whoa. Okay. 4.6 liter V8, black, and the price on it is $57.50. Whoa. People love these Ford Explorer Sport Tracks. Will you love it enough to come by? We'll see you then. This week I made a video. Oh, boy! All right, everybody, we have a 2010 Kia Forte. 2.0 liter. Silver is the color for $29.95. Just remember, it is a manual transmission. The car has just over 150,000 miles on it. There you go. Yeah. All right, everybody, we got another Jeep Liberty in stock, a 2007 Jeep Liberty with 173,000 miles on it. Blue is the color. Just get a good look at it. Again, just in at our dealership. Let's go ahead and take a look and see how many miles or how many, I suppose the price on it. Oh. 3500 bucks for a Jeep Liberty. It's a limited package with the 3.7 liter. So technically right now at our dealership, we have two Jeep Liberties. We have a white one for $29.95, and now we have this blue one right here. Sunroof, leather, automatic, but no four-wheel drive. There you go. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next one on the list today. Oh boy, what's he gonna do? All right, everybody, today we got a 2006 Chevrolet Colorado regular cab truck in bright yellow with 153,000 miles on it. Not bad for an 06. And wow, wait until you hear the asking price that we're selling it for. Stay with us. All right, everybody, so the asking price of the Chevy Colorado with 153,000 miles is $32.50. Wow, 2.8 liter motor. What a clean little truck for a great price. We'll see you on the next video clip of the next used car for tax season. Stay with us. <laughs> All right, everybody, here's something a little bit unique and kind of rare. You don't get a whole lot of these in. This is a 2006. Kia Spectra 5 with the black and red sport wheels. Tires look like they got plenty of tread left on them. Again, a 2006, it is definitely over 200,000 miles. It's got the makeshift handmade, not optional, not functional <laughs> uh, hood scoop going on, but a cute little car. It is a four door hatchback with 253,000 miles on it. And uh, the price that we'll be selling this for is $19.50. Looks like it came from the beautiful area of the Appalachian alumni. 
Appalachian is up in North Carolina. They call it the Appalachian State University near Boone and Sugar Mountain. But a beautiful place to live, I'm sure. I've gone there for vacation a few times with my wife. But there is the interior. It is a automatic transmission. It's got the red Pioneer stereo. It's gonna look great once we get it all cleaned up and freshened up. Thanks for watching. Let's take a look at the next clip. Moving right along today, taking a look at the 2006 Mazda 3 in black. Wow, take a look at it. You know, we seem to like buying these older Mazdas here at our dealership at the Auto Buy Center. Comes with a 2.3 liter motor, black paint. It does have some paint fadage going on on the top. My goodness gracious. It definitely <coughs> could use a new paint job. <coughs> and yes, Chad's got a cold right now. But uh, you got the spoiler, kind of a sporty little four-door car. Um, definitely uh, could, could wow, could definitely use uh, a week or so in the body shop to get resprayed and maybe get some of the dentage fixed on it. And some of the scratch kind of looks like um, road debris flew up right there. But they got the tinted windows on it. And oh my, um, okay, well somebody definitely uh, got in here and stole the CD player at one point or another. I mean, man, they stole more than the seat where they took the whole dash out, huh? Or the whole cluster. But anyways, uh, mileage on this car, I do not know, but I can only assume high mileage. And the price is around $24.50 cash. So it's a great little $2,500 car for the tax season buyer. Let me know if you're interested. What you going to do? You going to... <laughs> All right, the Audi A6 is still here even today. I have emails coming in on it every single day. Over 500 messages on Facebook Marketplace for people that are interested in buying this car. And nobody has came back to buy it. Kind of reminds me of the Chevy S10 type of deal. You know, $2,000 cash. Well, guess what, folks? The price will be rising on this car very shortly due to us ordering a motor for it. And once we get the motor, the price may rise up at least double, I would assume. But hey, get it now before the price rises or let the price go up and you don't have to deal with buying a motor and doing a swap. I think that's about, about be the better route to go is let somebody else do the work and then you buy it and drive it. So it was just so many. Hey, a lot of run around going on. Here is the 2007 Kia Sedona minivan. Wow, you know, we don't get a whole lot of minivans here at our dealership on the regular but right now we have about two this one and one other this one's silver in color looks like it's got the steel wheels with the kia hubcaps tires seem to be in good shape got the all seasons on there the mileage is exempt meaning basically it's over 150,000 miles let's see what kind of options we have on this one um the paint seems to be pretty nice on the outside it is definitely locked up but you got your gray cloth interior. Let's go ahead and find out the price and mileage for you right now. All right, guys, the Kia Sedona has 183,000 miles, and the price is going to be, once cleaned up and all, $32.50 cash with the V6. Next one, without having to cut clips, is going to be taking a peek at the Mazda 6 here while getting cleaned up right now. It's a beautiful four-door sedan, a lot of room. I mean, Mazda is definitely a great brand, and this is somewhat of the newer body style on the Mazda 6. Now, I want to show you all real quickly. You see how he's getting this vehicle all cleaned up? It's going to look great when he's complete with it. And again, look at all the space you have on the interior. This car is really around the size of like a Honda Accord. So again, if you're interested in buying a Mazda 6, come on down and see it. Let's take a look and see what he miles is on this car or even... Uh, it's a 2009 Mazda 6 with 255. What is the price? I'll let you know on the next clip. Okay, everybody, the Mazda 6 is a 2009 with 255,000 miles, 2.5 liter motor. And um, the price on this one is $39.95. So just at $4,000 or best offer. Let me know what you think about that one. Let's take a look at the next car. Right here, buddy, here's a 2011 Kia Sorento. This is their smaller SUV. It has 176,000 miles with a 2.4 liter. The price on this one is $49.95. Okay, so $49.95 for a Kia Sorento. Has backup camera. Let's go ahead and take a look. It just came in. Let's take a look and see what the interior is looking like. Well, it's locked up, but it's got the black cloth interior, automatic. Maybe a nice little car for somebody once it's all cleaned up. Let's take a look at the next vehicle. All right. 
right guys, last but not least, I'm pretty sure this might be the last vehicle on our video today. I always save the best for last, as some of y'all know. We're gonna be taking a look at the BMW X3 in white. What a winning color, right? Winning, as Charlie Sheen, the crazy crackhead, has said. This has a 3.0 liter motor, very clean. We uh, we actually we know a little bit about this car. It was actually traded in at a Mercedes dealership, and uh, the Mercedes store sent it to the sale, and now we got it from the auction yesterday morning. But take a look. Let's go ahead and get the camera off of me and give you more details about it. So this is a 2006 BMW X3, again with the 3.0 liter, very clean. Of course, we'll be doing an in-depth video about this car here in the next couple days. Um, but for right now, alloy wheels, tires are in good shape. You got Michelin's on there. Um, and again, it is a 2006. It does have extremely high mileage at 277,000. The asking price here at the AutobotCenter.com is going to be $49.95. So if that's something you may be interested in, let me know. I can send you more details, more pictures. Let's see if it's unlocked real quick. I seriously doubt it is, but maybe it is. It is locked. It does have the tan leather, panoramic glass sunroof. It's going to be a beautiful vehicle for someone to own and drive. We also have this one. I haven't done a whole lot about it. That little car right there is a Ford Focus for $19.95. That's one of our $2,000 car, $2, cars and under for $19.95, a little Ford Focus for someone that needs some inexpensive, cheap transportation. So one thing that drives me absolutely insane on Saturdays is when customers just get up and leave. Nobody talks to them and tries to get them to stay. They just let them leave off the car lot, you know? That really drives me nuts. I actually had a customer here this morning, a girl with her father, and uh, I was literally just coming right down the road. I mean, I wasn't late today or anything like that. And the sales team here just lets them go. I mean, doesn't even call Chad up and says, Chad, your customer's here, you know, this, that, and the other. I mean, they're leaving right now in their car, but they don't even call me and say, Chad, your customer is here right now. What do you want me to do? You know, Chad could have put them on the phone with me. Let me talk to the customer a little bit. Let me tell them that I'm just down the street and I'll be here in just a minute to help them. I mean, that's all you got to do. Call me, let me know. That kind of stuff is a pet peeve of mine because you wouldn't want it done to you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if your customer's here, I'm gonna try to call you. I'm gonna try to let you know that, hey, Mrs. Smith is here and where are you at? Are you on the way this morning? How far are you out? Okay, you're five minutes down the road. Mrs. Smith, let me see. Chad's gonna be here in just a moment. Can you sit down and just give him a little few minutes to let him pull in and help you out? He has something special he wants to tell you. That's all there is to it. If it's your customer on the lot, and you've been working with them and letting them walk around freely and not being a sales representative and helping them find the car that they need for themselves and you want to let them leave the lot that's on you okay seriously i'm not a manager i'm not an owner of the dealership that is technically on you but i can't stand it i really can't because anybody that walks their ass up on this car lot to look at cars should have the respect enough to I'm done, I'm done, I, this is it, I'm done. You know, I, I need to be a manager in the car business, I really do. I've been waiting for it for quite some time. Nobody I've ever worked for has given me a management type position and uh, I'm going on 40 years old. It is time for me to leave the nest of a sales guy and roll into a management position. I'm ready and I think I can do it. We'll see you soon guys, have a great day. If you come to my store, let me help you out. Please ask for me and please, please, Call me on my cell phone. Later, guys.